Hello everyone, Carolina Venom here. Uh, introducing a new camera. Um, it's the Vivitar Vivicam X137. Uh, this is must be a brand new camera they just came out with. Um, I bought it at Walmart, but I have searched the web and actually searched the Vivitar website, and I can't even find this camera except for Walmart. So. Uh, it's a new camera, and uh, the only difference with this camera and other Vivitar cameras is that this one's got a touchscreen LCD. Uh, no buttons except for a the camera button, the power button, and a home button on the back. Rest of the touchscreen. Uh, well, on the exception of the micro mode, is also uh, manual. Um, this is not a bad camera, not a good camera. I'll go into that later on. Um, but if you're wanting a cheap camera uh, that takes, you know, fairly decent pictures and videos, um, you know, then this may might be worth checking out. Uh, I'll start off with a little bit of the looks here. Uh, it's got a nice black exterior. Uh, got your flash, got your uh, your lens, fixed lens. It's not got a you know don't. It's just a digital zoom uh, with no cover over it, so it's easy to get dust and stuff in there and lower your quality. Your uh, tripod mount, got your SD card slot, USB, and your micro mode. On this side, you got your battery door, and it takes three AAA batteries. And uh, it's not the best on batteries. I have noticed that it does kind of eat batteries pretty good, but uh, it's not the worst I've seen. On top, you got your power button and you got your um, camera button. It, is, it does not got autofocus, which is something that Vivitar, I think, leaves out of all their cameras uh, for some reason. But uh, over all the cameras that I've seen anyway. And on the back, you have your touchscreen. Um, get your home button and that's all you have so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and power it on uh, and show you a little bit about it my camera won't do very good on looking at the uh, settings in this touch screen because uh, the lens for some reason won't pick it up but as you can see I'll cover the lens up here a little bit and uh, you got your, right here is your menu button uh, this one right here that one, this button here here does nothing evidently. This one right here is your flash button, your auto, which is your scenery, portrait, um, night scenery, night portrait, high sensitivity, beach, um, all that stuff. Uh, one thing about it is that this thing does not got a very good touch screen. Uh, I'll go ahead and stay here for a couple of seconds and say that the touch screen, Vivitar is not ready for a touch screen camera. Um, for thirty nine dollars is what I paid for it. I mean, you're going to get a thirty nine dollar camera. Um, you know, I just wanted to try it out because it was something different. But uh, you know, it's got it. Here's your camera button. You know, some buttons are responsive for touch. Some buttons take a lot, a lot of scrolling and a lot of right touches to get it to work right. Got your menu button down here. Uh, resolution. And you can't see it in here because of the background, but it's you know it's a 10 megapixel camera, and it goes all the way down to a VGA. If I can get to scroll, uh, your quality, uh, you have super fine, fine, and normal. Uh, your VivaLink to you know which has a bunch of Facebook, uh, you know, Photo Bucket, Flickr, MySpace, Picasso albums. Uh, self timer, uh, your scene selection, your scenery, portrait, night scenery. I, 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 I just read all that. Um, back up to your main screen. As you can see, it does do fairly look, you know, it looks fairly good under normal lighting. Uh, here's your home button right here. Go to your video, and it records in 720 uh, high definition. Um, again, here is your your auto scenery, portrait, night scenery, night portrait, and all that stuff. Your menu here, your resolution, you can record in 720p, BGA, or QBGA, 
which of course is 1280 by 720, 640 by 480, and 320 by 240. Quality, of course, you got normal, fine, and super fine. Vivalink, your auto white balance, daylight, cloudy, you know, fluorescent, incandescent, all that good stuff. Um, you know, you you know, it's got about you know all the same, you know, all the stuff that you got in every other camera as far as you know scenery and stuff. Home button, and then you go back and you know get your setup uh, for your language, your date, your frequency, your auto off, and your silent mode. And then you power off button. And so I mean, sometimes, sometimes the buttons work decent. Uh, the touch screen has its moments where it'll work, and then it just won't work. So. Uh, you gotta you gotta really have a lot of patience. Every every different setting you make has gotta be done by touch. And if you want something in a hurry fast, where on a normal camera you can just hit a button here, 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 you're done. You gotta push this button, and then if it don't if it don't respond, you gotta hit it again and hit it again, and then scroll, and then it won't then it don't want to scroll. It makes it aggravating, and you know you know if you want to if you want to take a picture in the next five seconds. And you gotta have it turned on with flash on a certain thing. You ain't gonna do it. You say you just ain't gonna do it like you would with a different camera. And I'm also gonna be doing a comparison with this camera for pictures and videos using my Fujifilm uh, AX200 uh, to kind of show you the difference in the pictures and the videos. Um, show you the quality of the Vivitar. Uh, like I say, it's not a bad camera, but it's not a good camera. Uh, one problem that I, that I did encounter with this camera is the memory card. Um, I've been running a 4 gigabyte card in here, and it seems to run fine. But tonight, I wanted to put in an 8 gigabyte Class 4, which, you know, a Class 4 is not a, it is about standard. Well... I put it in the Vivitar here and uh, went to record and about every four seconds it was it would read card error like it didn't want to read the card um, you know I push you know I push it again to record it would say recording about four seconds it would stop again and then I do it again it stopped again and after about three or four or five times of pushing record it would finally go ahead and record so you know, if you want, like I say, if you're, you know, with the with the SD card issue, I don't know if it's a camera problem. I don't know if it's just mine or what it is. But um, you know, you buy cheap, you get cheap. Uh, you don't buy Vivitar and expect to, you know, have you know, have a Sony or a Panasonic or something like that. I mean, you know, you buy Vivitar because you know because you want something cheap. Um, so it's not going to be the best in the world by no means, but, uh, you know, for the price I paid for it, you know, the video quality ain't the best. The picture quality is, you know, is, is decent, but, um, like I say, I'll be showing you comparison, you know, of pictures and videos with my more expensive Fuji to give you an idea. And, you know, you might like it and say, hey, I want to try it out, you know, if you can find one. You know, you know, whatever. But I mean, the SD card, you know, kind of ruins it for me because I don't want to be sitting there and say, "Oh, I want to get this on record," and when you push the record button, it says "card error," and then you're ready to throw it against the wall because you're like, "Man, what's wrong with this thing?" You know, I've never had a bit of problem with anything else reading um, memory cards, but this one. So. uh yeah, I'm going to be doing, I mean, there's not much else to say about this camera other than uh, the microphone. Um, it picks up relatively well. It does pretty good, uh, but it can't stand too loud of a noise because it distorts and don't sound good and everything. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Um, the Vivitar, Vivicam X137, uh, mediocre camera. You're mediocre to good, depending on what you like, what you you know, what you think's good. Now, with a tripod and the right amount of settings and the good right, you know, right amount of lighting, it might do you no know, fairly well. But uh, you know, it's just whatever your preference is. So uh, I'm done rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and get in with the pictures and videos, 
and uh, you'll see the difference and uh, make up your own mind. I'm out of here. Talk to you later.